Keel Aficionado Media on all of our platforms from Instagram to YouTube. I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio where we're sweltering at 102. <laughs> and that young man is? Jim Johnston at a very comfortable 78 degrees in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, I'm going to, you know what? In the next couple of years, I'm going to go north for the summer. We're just going to go right. You and I are going to do some face-to-face stuff because I'll just go. Come on up, man. It's, yeah, absolutely. We'll go visit you. I know so there's some campgrounds nearby that we can uh, hang out with. And, uh, uh, you know. We'll... We've got miles of coastline here, too. It's a lake, but it, we've still got miles of it. So. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm cool. And any, any place where I don't have to, you know, it's, it's hot, man. It's, it's yeah. From here, hell is a local call. <laughs> uh, tonight or today, Jim and I uh, are going to dissect and really take a good look at Sonora Crema de Bacanora. And look at the packaging on this. This is this is very much the same packaging as you as we saw in the Blanco. We we've we already nominated the Blanco for for Brandon Promise in the packaging category, but this is. Very similar, no change at all, except the the glass is uh, porcelain. It's like a like a bisque. Yeah, it it's definitely not um, not the same as its other packaging. I mean, very similar with with the the bottles, same shape, same uh, with the uh, Agave Pacifica on it. But the, yeah, you're you're definitely right, and I think probably to keep the light out, obviously. Oh yeah, now. Cream liqueur. You you were reading on the website. Why don't you read the what what the website's very informative, by the way. Everything you wanted to know about Bacanora, they'll, they're telling you right there. Go ahead, and just read what it says there, because I thought it was really interesting. And I it, so it says for years locals have blended pure Bacanora with rich dairy cream and deep dark mocha to produce a deliciously decadent cream liqueur that has remained relatively unknown north of the border. Ah. Uh. All right, uh, just for the sake of transparency, I will tell you that once, just once, I had a crema de bacanora. I'm not sure whose it was. I'm not sure who made it. Uh, this was at the, uh, uh, some of you who may be old enough to remember, there was a, 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 a Spirits of Mexico show in Las Vegas that was, that was at the same time as the uh, nightclub and bar show. It happened in a small section of the, of the convention center. And there was this Bacanora company. I was actually there uh, covering it and to, to see the, the uh, I was there with a, a Sotol family, the Hawkins family who was, uh, they had their Sotol was on that tour. She was uh, the, the CEO of the company was going to speak at, at that convention. So during that time, you know, I, I had my first taste of Scorpion Mezcal. I had my first Crema de Bacanora and I loved it. It was a hit. It was a hit. So since that time, you know, we've seen stuff like Avion Espresso, which is very well done, a former brand of promise winner. We've seen 1921. This is their, their special pink bottle that has been a beloved, uh, you know, crema. It, and Senor Rio, they were nice enough to send us their coffee liqueur, which I really enjoy. It's great in, in coffee. So, so we've had our, you know, we enjoy, Lisa, Lisa loves to take these crema, these cream liqueurs and, and cook with them and bake with them uh, and taste them, of course. Right. Oh, tres leches. Uh, she makes tres leches cake and that, that, that's one of her boy's favorite desserts as well. So um, I am going to use, this is what used to be one of my favorite tequila glasses. I found out today that it's uh, Luminarch from France, uh, so it's a, a kind of like a French cordial, and you're going to go with a, a Glencairn, right? Well, actually, this is also kind of a French cordial glass. It's um, it's it's made it's made by Lauren Perrier, though. Know? It's it's so it, it's like a champagne glass that is now um, they've they've cut it down for cordials and for um, sweeter wines. Okay, it mine's got a little bit more of a of a tulip look to it. So um, just opening it, just opening this, this bottle is, oh my, uh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow. That's very rich. Wow. 
I, I just gained five pounds just smelling it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that. Obviously, uh, you know, when, when we break down a liqueur, it's whether you like it or not, right? There's right. No, the serving suggestion is you can serve it in a snifter over ice if you want. Uh, I'd imagine I, – I've um, been told that uh, – the, the Don Cuco Sotol family also made a cream de Sotol, but it, they could never get it into the U.S. because uh, there's, a, there's a spoilage factor. Right. I'm not sure how, how they got this to work for them. Well, and I had a feeling you sent this to me because send the Irishman the thing that's like Bailey's. <laughs> well, you don't have to refrigerate it. <laughs> You, you you send me the Mexican version of Bailey's and they don't you don't have to refrigerate that but there's actually and I know this because I'm a big Scotch drinker there are only a select few um, liquors that will not make the cream curdle this is one of them Scotch is another okay and then and single malt Irish whiskeys and single malt scotches but it you you put cream and a lot of other things and it will curdle yeah. But certain liquors do not have that effect on it. So I would imagine as long as they can keep it together, they don't need to worry about that spoilage. Cause Otherwise you get, you get like, you, you know, you get cream of onion soup or something. Right. Right. right yeah. Oh my goodness. This, this smells like graham crackers. It smells like s'mores. The, the, that, that's what it smells like. It yeah. smells like s'mores over a fire. You get just the, the smoke off the Bacanora a little bit. Like you had a marshmallow that was just toasted the right way. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. And maybe one of the graham crackers fell in the fire, but that's just the aroma, just a little bit of the baked graham cracker in it, ah. and some very light cream chocolate, milk chocolate. Oh, this is this is gonna be my new Christmas thing, man. <laughs> wow. This yeah, this is gonna be. Uh, huh? What? Just eggnog? Screw that, man. Just yeah. give yourself some of this. Right. But cat, I haven't had any yet. I'm just sniffing it. It just smells great. I mean, it really smells like a full dessert, a, 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 a baked chocolate gram, and, and just like maybe a subtle coffee note on it with the smoke. Just at the end for me, I get a little bit of a coffee note. Probably why it's really good in coffee. Oh my goodness! And the the sweet cream, you can smell the sweet cream on this. This is this is everything is coming through, and 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 you know it of course depends on the glass that you're using. I'm using of course a, a glass where you have to dig a little bit deeper to get stuff out of it. But on the sides, there's there's that faint uh, 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 agave Pacifica smell to it. You know that that starts with the triple distilled blanco. That's the base the base liqueur. I, I gotta dive in, man. This is this is such wow. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> if you are watching this in Ireland, put your Baileys out on the porch and go get this. And I'm sorry, there's I'm gonna get haunted by some old Irish people who are long dead. <laughs> There is nothing about the liquor. There is nothing about the smoke from the Blanco that comes through on this because the cream and the chocolate has completely mellowed into a perfect, this is liquid s'mores. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's liquid s'mores. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh. The alcohol is there. It's at the tail end, just at the back. Right at the tail end. But it's the sweet cream and just the, that the, the, the smoke from the Blanco is actually working with the, uh, ch the chocolate on this to give it like a cinnamon graham chocolate flavor. This is like, it, this is like a, a chocolate flan. It's like a chocolate cream, like a Boston cream pie. I, I, you know, I don't know. This is, and, and honestly, 
the sugar on this is not chemical sugar. This is not artificially sweetened taste to it. This tastes like really good sweet cream has been used and not tons of chemical syrup and, and anything like that. It's very light. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's not very syrupy either. You know, there are some of the liqueurs that we've had, and not that that's a bad thing, it's just the way they've, they've been manufactured and produced. This one, even though there's cream on it, it it's it's not very clingy. It's not thick right. milkshake. It's not milkshake thick. This is... Uh, this is delicious. It says, does not have to be refrigerated. Fifteen uh, percent alcohol. It's thirty proof, so technically, uh, it's a it's cream, uh, rich dairy cream, natural flavors, and car. The only thing, caramel color. Well, right. Because because it you know it starts like this. Right. right. And I, I if you infuse it with cream, you've got to get something to make it look a, a, a little bit like it's a dessert. I, I've seen cream liqueurs that look like cream. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and the consistency does not hold up quite as well. But um, I, I tell you what, and I'm going to make it up to my Irish friends for telling them to kick their Baileys out to the curb. <laughs> I make I make Guinness ice cream. A what? And what? You, you take we've got a we've got a, an ice cream place in Youngstown called Handles, and it's constantly made the top ten across the world, but. They, they they use a lot more butter fat. And if you get their vanilla ice cream uh -huh. and you mix Guinness with it and let it set overnight, you take that and you put that on a brownie with caramel and chocolate and it will blow <laughs> your mind. But this is the next ice cream that's going to get made. Uh, you know what, dude? You are evil. You are an evil, evil man. <laughs> We're going to make this. And, um, and, and the, the cool thing about it is you can have dessert and there's just a little bit of alcohol in it just to take the edge off. Could you do me a favor? Yes. When you make it, could you, could you tape a review of... Absolutely. A, a Absolutely. Like you did in Ireland for us at the yes. bar when you made the margaritas. Please, please do that and, and, and share the bottle, you know, so, so that... Absolutely. The, uh, I would love to see that happen. Because, you know, you, you got to give props to the place and you got to the ingredients. First of all, you have to be really twisted to put, to put Guinness in an ice cream. But, but if you could do that, then you certainly could do that. With yeah. That. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, and because this is, you know, this spirit was illegal for a long time, we're going to make a la ice cream out of this stuff right here. I think, <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty good. But this is. This is, the this, is the, this is the first non um, – I think this is the first thing that I've had with you on camera that wasn't 80 proof or above. Yeah, yeah. And um, this is the lightest, sweetest in the best way cream liqueur I have ever had. There is nothing chemical about this. And that's what I hate sometimes about – you get certain cream liqueurs a little bit cheaper – there is that artificial sugar flavor in it. Yeah. And, because they could not figure out how to cut the booze. Well, yeah. You know, um, uh, again, for those of you who are, well, for those of you who are lactose intolerant, just change the channel. <laughs> but, sorry. you know, yeah, sorry. Uh, but this is really, now they're serving suggesting they show a snifter and, and ice. I don't even want to ice this because it doesn't need to be refrigerated. But, no. oh, God, if you, if, you know. Um, this is something you could have all night long. Uh, it's the holidays are, you know, by the time you all see this, you might, it might be holiday time because we're, we're, we have so many reviews that are, that are, that we have on tap for, uh, we're doing these like weeks and months in advance now, but I got to tell you, this is the new Christmas thing right here. Eggnog. This is delicious. Uh, when you make French toast, instead of cream, throw this in with the French toast batter. Give that a shot. Um, I'm going to have to hide this from Lisa because I'll never see the bottle again. She'll find yeah, the recipe. Yeah, with. this is going away. But um, <laughs> I just I, I like how I like how light it is. I like the fact that the cream does not make it thicker than it needs to be. No. And I like the fact that it you, you definitely know it's a liqueur yeah. because a lot of the time a cream liqueur, they lose the alcohol in it or they try to cut the alcohol with too much sugar or too much syrup that makes it taste like a chemical. This is so well balanced with the sweetness 
And it's almost like when you have sweet cream that does not need sugar, where the cream itself is light enough to just have a nice sweet flavor to it, they've done very well with this. And I think, this, like we said, this is a liquid s'more. This is this is phenomenal. Of course, right there. Here we go. Ran a promise nominee in the in the uh, liqueur. Uh, I, I'm going to just give it its own separate category, Bacanora liqueur category, because there's there's nothing. You know, everything that I showed you earlier that I shared with you, they're tequila based and, and very different. All three are very different from each other. So, you know, had they ever been competing together in, in one, you know, in one category, I, I'd, it would be a battle royale. But this, this is, you know what I love? It's not coating my palate because some, no. some liqueurs will, will on purpose coat your palate and then you're done. You know, either well, you're trying to spend the rest of the evening getting it out of your out of your palate, but that cream clings sometimes. And and, and on this one, uh, the, the 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 flavor that remains for me is not cream. It is the actual the the, the cinnamon coffee dark chocolate, and and, and the, the, the the liqueur side of this. The liqueur is saying, is still there. The cream is not like oh I just had a mouthful of whipped cream and now my mouth tastes like milk. Yeah, like you've just had a uh, what are they one of those drinks, those shots with the with the with the cream on top. You know, you know what you know the ones I'm I'm talking about. It's not like one of those. This oh, uh, a mini beer. Yeah, something like that. And this, you know, and this is just delightful to sniff. You, could, this is really this is a what lot. a mini beer wants to be. Wow. We're not doing anything. This is all at room temp, folks. You don't have yeah. to refrigerate this. It's not going to go bad on you. It's like, wow. Oh, my God. Brand of Promise nominee. Absolutely. And, and That's and delicious. This is, this, this, this is a winner. This yeah. is going to be as beloved as, as the 1921 crema. Uh, that's a fearless prediction for me because that 1921 crema, everybody goes bananas over this you're going to go bananas over it in fact pour it over bananas before you go bananas over it um that's our take on sonora bacanora crema de bacanora it was delightful thank you guys for the from the sonora uh bacanora company the importation company that made it happen uh that's it that's our take brand of promise nominee i'm mike morales here in san antonio that young man out there is jim johnson in youngstown ohio Hey, I saw you. I saw you pour some more in there. <laughs> that's not for me. That's for I'm gonna let my wife taste it. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Hey, I'm. But uh, that that's our take on 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 Sonora Bacanora. You've been watching Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media, all of our platforms. If you're watching us on YouTube, please sign up. Jim Johnson in Youngstown, Ohio. I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio. Texas, and like we say all the time, tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely.